Long time not seen, hope you don't mind. So let's get started with Welcome to an unusual Kensington laptop lock. <laughs> Yeah, I bought this lock for very cheap of eBay and the seller told me that this is an original Kensington lock. And it looks like a normal tubular lock for laptops and actually it is a tubular lock for laptops. But when we look at the pins we can see some weirdness going on. So usually these locks have seven pins but this has only five active pins. We can see an empty spot right here and we can see a dummy pin there. So this is not a pin, this is just a piece of metal. It doesn't get depressed, so nothing to pick here, nothing to pick there, only five active pins. Yeah, I told you that I will do some destructive testing on real computer hardware, but not in this video. In this video I wanna pick it free from a little computer that I got from the scrapyard. So let's see how this picks open in a real world application. Okay, here we can see the little computer that I got from the scrapyard. Um, it has a Kensington uh, lock slot and other than that it's just a piece of garbage. <laughs> um, my son used to play with it but it's not uh, working anymore. Anyhow, let's install the lock and pick it free. You have to insert the key. Then you can cause the pins and the T-bar here to align. Now we can insert it in the slot. Close it and it's locked up. I tried to pick it in the hand, um, but it's really hard uh, to hold and give you a stable view. I picked it open twice in the hand, but it's not a good setup for the camera. So let me clamp this in a wise for you. Okay, so here you can see my setup. I just clamped a little laptop in my wise and I hope this will give you a more or less stable view to the lock when I pick it. We can see the dummy pin here just a piece of metal and the empty spot down there. There's a metal ball on top of the inner plug that I can just avoid by using the smaller, the shorter distance between the peaks. Like this. Hope this gives you a good view. All binding really really tight. This pin down below you can't see because of the shadow. It's really hard, sorry, for, for the light. I fell a little turn on the plug and another turn on the plug and I think we are very close. And we got it turned one, one time, but we need to pick it another time to get it free. So this should be even easier because there is one pin less to pick, which is um, at that spot or which is not at that spot because here we have one driver uh, not covered by a key pin. Uh, let's see. There's this pin down below, you can't see that it's binding. This one is binding.
think that is already set, the one down there. And got a little turn on the plug and we got it open. So here is the laptop lock free or <laughs> the laptop is free from the lock. It wasn't all that difficult. The most difficult part was the clamping setup and the uh, camera setup <laughs> to show it to you in a hopefully decent manner. Yeah, fun little lock that picks open not very hard and that has this weirdness of one empty spot and one dummy pin. Now the dummy pin is just where the uh, slot is and I filed one key down so usually you have this nose here and I filed one key down so that has not the nose anymore and now I can just use that to um, to operate the lock also in this state. So usually, sorry for the focus, so when you have the lock in this state you cannot uh, use the key with the with the nose, ah, here we go, you cannot use the key with the nose to, to close it again because the nose <laughs> prevents the key from going in, but with a key that has no nose I can just put in the key and turn it. <laughs> All right. All right, we see us again when it comes to more destructive opening techniques. That's why I have this little laptop. And until we meet again, happy picking and bye-bye.